Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to another video here today. You know, it's been a while since I made a video in this channel. It's been a cool minute. Uh, yesterday I've heard there's an update about Halo and the future of it, and I really want to watch it. Uh, it's a B Doc, which I B Docs is something I used to watch back in the day when it came to Halo. So uh, let's watch it and let's see what's up. Uh, I haven't, I have not seen this yet. I just heard about it and I just paused it because I did not want to hear about it. And this, you know, and I was going to watch it myself. And I was like, you know what? Let's make a video on it since it's been a while. And I guess I've never done these type of videos before, like reactions to anything. So, you know, this is my first time, but, you know, let's get, let's get at it. Let's watch this video right now. Let's put this full screen and let's get it. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. For six years, I don't want to be in front of it. I'm just, no, I'm just so excited to watch this. So it, reminds, it just takes me back to back in the days in Halo 3, you know. There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. What made Halo Damn, successful? look at all those. At the beginning, I still have most of my Halo, Halo games. What's the soul that we want to bring forward and what's the craft of making Halo games? And how do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? We knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was this is going to be a really hard It's going to be look, it's going to be good. I think fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since we've made the change to shift to UE, I agree. we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. The Foundry project was an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. New studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry. Foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Oh, snap, bro. It's looks so good, bro. It's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, bro. Guys, oh, the flood. The flood. Look at all this Original stuff, bro. Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at the original armor. Is this going to be... Okay, I'll mention it at the end. Hold on. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific okay. Northwest, which is sort of- That looks really good. Biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome <laughs> that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase where we could play wow. with shaders, we could play with deformable- I love shaders, bro. And terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things come uh, look at that banshee to that winter look and then our third it looks really good lands which is <laughs> oh, i was so excited about this bro completely taken over by the flood i wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world a really alien world taking something way further Ooh. than they may have actually done in previous halo games what's impressed me about watching the halo team work in unreal is how beautiful everything looks how incredible the environments mm -hmm. i agree I've seen anything quite like it in unreal engine before fortunately we have a studio that's really passionate about halo about the look and the feel and you know i think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate to move forward together foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process everything from concept art vfx 
characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. Creating an asset, taking this. Oh, that design. looks sick. Now we that looks really sick. Look at that magnum. That pistol, bro. Actually made of. <laughs> How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful Ooh, look at that sword. That we have. Bring that looks good. And bring them to uh, today's standards. Damn, bro. Chief. Or Spartan. It could be a different really Spartan, I think. I didn't see the projects, number on the on multiple projects, but also uh, expanding suit. our studio. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only gonna get better when we get the most likely it's chief though perspectives and people bring in their expertise and look at that music, bro. The Halo franchise. We are looking <laughs> for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be okay. part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions. In the studio. Designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways, and I think that's pretty rare. Oh I man, we arrive now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to finish the fight. The There's so much momentum that we have right now, and focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building, and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That okay. was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe. Oh, that looks so good. Yep, it's Chief. He's 117 on, on suit. The new Dawn. Halo Studios. Oh, okay. No more 343 then? No more 343 Industries? All right. All right, guys. This is, it was super cool, man. I, this is awesome. I was probably just keep it playing in the background, but you know, I've been a, a bit at the Halo back in the day as a kid. Well, I was, how old was I? I was 11, I think, when it came out. And I got so much memories with that game. I remember playing it for the first time, seeing the flood for the first time in Halo CE, and when <laughs> Halo just turned to a horror game out of nowhere, you know. But it was awesome, a really good game, and it went all the way up to to the current Halo. You know, I played all the Halos, but it's been so many years I have not played it, and I'm so excited. I'm really, I'm not saying I'm like uh like I know the lore a hundred percent, but I've been pretty invested into the lore of Halo. So I know a lot of it and what's going on with, with everything that's going on with it, uh, with the lore outside of the game. And I just feel like after Halo 4, it started just coming downhill, you know. That's when 343 took over uh, the game. And I just, they just went in a different direction. There were so many things that they could have done with Halo that they messed up. And they, they just, you know, there were so many good opportunities where the Halo game could have popped off, but they just went to a different direction and it just didn't work out. I don't know. I don't know. You just look at Halo Infinite, like two thirds of the game, two thirds of the campaign was gone. Just, just I don't know what's going on in the back end of that studio. Uh, two thirds of the game is just cut and it has so much potential in Halo Infinite. They had the potential to make it look good and they just didn't do it. No, you were in that Halo ring. The, the where everything happened basically right <laughs> with the primordial and all that kind of stuff and mannequin bias there was so much lore that they could have put in that ring and they, they did not do it and the flood as well in that ring and there was no flood no flood except for that little dna thing tablet whatever and that's it and i don't know man but i i, I mean playing halo infinite was great i really loved the visuals on it and the, and the freedom you had when you were exploring, but I just didn't have much in it, you know, other than repeating the same stuff over and over. But it was a, it was a little change. I think that was the only change that I kind of recall, but I don't know if the remake, usually when it comes to remake, they kind of change a little bit. Um, I hope they don't change it too much, but I'm, I'm still open. 
uh, hopefully if they end up making a new lore and to being really good and everything ties in together uh like they have done in the past so hopefully that, that looks good you know um so i'm excited about bdox that like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i used something i used to watch so much back in the day when it came to halo 3 they released so many bdox that i was so interested in, and, and i watched every single one of them so it was pretty cool to watch this that's what it seemed like to me with this video was it like a bdox or maybe this will be doc i don't know it, it could very well be a bdox um but yeah, they look very committed and they seem very excited, right? That's making me excited to see what's the future of the game. I don't know when they could really smart info on when the next Halo game is going to come out. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but you know, take your time, make sure it's good. And I'll be there when that happens, when they play it, when they release it, basically. Cool. I did hear in the video that they were working on multiple projects. I really hope that they bring the flood a little bit more into the game, right? I guess how Halo CE came out and we, we were introduced to the flood. Uh, it was a really good introduction. You know, all of that environmental storytelling that 343 Guilty Spark level gave us. I really love that. Maybe in the future, you know, they can make it like a, a separate game that just shows a, a flood, right? Maybe like a flood horror game. That would be super amazing. I'm not into horror that much. But I do play it, uh, as you've seen in my previous videos. If you watch my older videos, I did play horror games, so I'll definitely be playing a, a flood horror game if they ever do release a game. I said they were looking for engineers, so <laughs> I will definitely be look out for a role if they ever do have an open position on it. I highly doubt that I would get an offer on it, but I'll, I will definitely try. I uh, would love to be a part of the Halo franchise or be able to work on it. You know, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. That's about it for this video. I'm very excited about the future of Halo. They switch into Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine makes it makes the game look really awesome. And I think this is making me want to replay the the Halo trilogy again. It's been it's been years since I played it. Uh, if anybody is interested, you know, and me playing the original Halo series again, uh, it's been too long, and I'd love to play it again one of these days. And if you guys are interested, you know, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon i'll definitely be playing this in the future uh, i would like to come back to it and just relive the the game again so if anybody's interested in that feel free to follow oh uh, maybe this week or next week i can start uh start doing that so it's making me play again really play again and maybe now that i know about all this lore and everything maybe coming back to it can give me a different perspective on the game if anything so yeah if you're interested uh, stay tuned and we'll see when i gonna be playing it so cool guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's my first time doing like a reaction kind of thing so i've never really done that before so hopefully it ended up being a good video and if you did if you enjoyed this video feel free to like it and subscribe for future let's plays on halo or anything or any other future bdocs that i would like to <laughs> react to so I'll see you guys then, signing out.